Hello my beauties! So today I'm going to share with you a lot of the products and things that I've enjoyed this month. Just a little bit of warning, I don't know what happened this month, but I've just been really liking a lot of makeup products. So the very first thing, and I know you guys probably should know by now, is my long overdue Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I just have to say that it has been a very, very, very long time that I got so excited about a eye makeup palette that I actually was like eyeing out for it for a very long time because apparently this was only an online exclusive so I could only get this online and I was actually in the store a couple of times going did you have it yet have you guys got it in yet I've called up stores I'm like did it come in yet is the palette here and finally they confirmed that it was only online I have been wearing this palette almost every day so in most of my Instagram photos as of late are pretty much this palette and pretty much all of my vlogs are like wearing this palette so what I do is pretty much I use peanut butter all over the eyes and then I use peanut brittle just on the mobile eyelid and then I use jammin for like the, the eyeliner bit and then I pretty much uh, sometimes you know spice things up, I add a bit of warmth to it, I might use Nuts About You and then I use the highlighting and, and the colours here. So pretty much I use all the colours here and the reason why I love this so much is because this is like, this palette is so me. This is actually a really, really good palette. I think if you guys can get your hands on it, definitely get it because not only is it pigmented, the color is amazing, it, it lasts all day, and I just think it's super cute. So this is the Shu Umura, and they did a collaboration with, I think it's called Kyle. And basically it's a brow palette, and it contains a taupey color for like just drawing in the brows, and then you can actually blend in a bit of purple to give that warmth to the brow, but also to match your purple hair if you had purple hair, which I do usually. So this was a palette that was screaming my name and I was like, I cannot believe someone finally heard me. So I have been using this almost every day since I've gotten it and I just love it so much. And look at the packaging, it's so pretty as well. L'Oreal Nude Cushion. I was actually introduced to this by Grace and I did a collab with her. So if you haven't watched already, like go and watch that because we actually reveal all of our top favorite must have products and tools back to this so she introduced this to me she's like oh this is really good it's probably one of the best cushions you can get like drugstore type of cushions you can get it provides good coverage and it's you know affordable so i was like all right price sign here i come so i went in there and luckily they're like having a sale so i got one for my mom as well it's a cushion so you got a little sponge applicator so this is really dirty and then you sort of press it onto this the little spongy here and then just pat it all over so for me i feel like the coverage is great if i had perfect skin and what i do is i just use concealer for under the eyes and then on my you know acne and spots and things like that and then i just use powder on top and i'm done and the makeup lasts all day it gives me that beautiful sort of dewy look as well without looking too oily first of all application is easy because you just pat it on and second of all i feel like the color is a good match for me right now these blotting papers and this is um by your Gia and these are apparently um, very famous and they came from Kyoto. Well, this is the original packaging, however, this is actually the pink one, which is the Sakura edition. So, I think the only difference is that the paper inside is um, like a pinkish tinge, whereas the, the, the normal one is just like plain white. So, this to me, I feel like um, it's a little bit overpriced for what it is because all you do really get is like a cardboard or a paper that has you know obviously what the branding is and then you have like basically a book of a book of like blotting papers and then that's it and so for me I feel like oh my god like this is this is all I'm getting I mean you get 30 sheets in here but let's just so it, I use this so quickly because I feel like I need at least three sheets for my whole face because the absorbency is so good that it, it absorbs so much oil that I feel like my face is so oily. So I kind of need to use at least two to three sheets um, per time and I feel like I would go through this like mad. So my um, my backup option is actually this one which is the same blotting paper but with powder attached to it. So not only am I blotting the oil but I'm also mattifying my face with the powder. So I feel like Together, I use less of it. So I could use one sheet for this and then two sheets of that or one sheet of this and that's it. So I feel like this kind of balances that a little bit more for me. So I've been keeping both of this in my makeup bag. Okay, the next thing I want to mention is actually these 
Hakuhoto brushes that I got um, in Japan. I actually got four brushes, but I won't talk about these two because these two are like my favorite ones. This is probably the one, the most expensive one. It's actually the powder brush and this is the blue scroll and that's why it was so expensive, but I really, really like it because it is the softest brush I have ever used. It is so soft. I'm like literally digging into the powder and it's like, I'm like, it's not, I, I don't feel like it's working, but it's so soft. Like you feel like you're just like, like a feather, like touching your face. So I enjoy the experience of putting powder on my face, but is it putting powder on my face? I don't know. The quality of this is amazing. The craftsmanship, everything else. Um, the, lady, the lady did tell me that you can actually use this up to six months without actually washing it. And so every time you use this powder, just like wipe it with a tissue and then just keep using it. To me, that sounds a little bit gross. So I did buy the soap that you can actually wash the brushes with. I think this is called the crease brush, but I actually use this for what I've been doing like with my makeup lately is that after using the peanut butter and jelly palette to do my you know eyes and then I use like my, my go-to Starlight powder by Napoleon. So I dip it and I literally just put it in the inner corners and I flick up So I just do that and then I flick up do that and flick up and also on the bottom as well And I've been loving this because it's super soft and it kind of just fits my eye shape the way that I want it and just gets enough powder in there It's just beautiful. It makes everything so seamless. This one I believe is not 100% blue squirrel It's actually half blue squirrel and half goat hair. So it's a little bit more I guess firmer and stiffer than say the, the the full blue squirrel but it's still beautiful like these two I'm like my favorite brushes baby lips by Maybelline the candy wow peach and I, I've actually mentioned this before you've probably seen me in a, in a makeup tutorial I only picked this up I think from a from Priceline or the from drugstore because um, it was on sale and it was new but what I really like about it is that I like the fact that it smells just like peaches like it feels like this is what my ideal of a peach smells like. So I love this as a base and I think if I could pull this off as an everyday lip color, I would because I really like the packaging, the formula and the color and the smell and the taste and the price. This is something that I picked up in Japan. I think it's really cool. It's a new technology nowadays. We're all advancing nonstop. One side is a lighting cable for your iPhone and then the other side is the USB cable to shove straight into your computer or laptop or whatever. So this is so convenient for transferring files over or you know photos over or, or anything that you want. And it also has an, an adapter for like a um, for like Androids and things like that as well. But I obviously only have iPhones, so I just been using this and the other side, which is the USB. So I've been transferring photos from my iPhone to my laptop so quick and easy without having to do the whole iTunes, you know, linking thing. It's just so much better. Love it, recommend it. Um, this is 64 gigs. So you can get like 32, 16, 64, and 128. And obviously the prices go up as you go bigger. Um, okay, I also wanna mention this really cute earrings that I got in Japan. Um, these are from like, I believe the 300 yen store. So everything in the store was like 300 yen. So I saw these earrings, they're kind of like a, a Christian Dior tribal earring inspired type of thing. It was, it's got a smiley face and then it's got the little pearl ball on the back. Um, I actually got one for my best friend Julie as well. So she's got the gold one and I've got the silver one. Um, and I think these are super fun and easy to wear. They're super cute and they're easy to match clothes. You can wear them up or down. I want to talk about this bag that I actually got um, in Don Quixote in Japan. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because I am personally not a huge backpack person because I feel like backpacks reminds me of school and of, of high school. But um, when you're traveling and when you're going around places, backpack is obviously essential. So I obviously ended up buying a backpack because I didn't have one. It has two zips. So you've got the one, the back, which is the, the main compartment. And you've got a little small um, sleeve here as well. And then you've got the back thing which you can put like your documents and things like that. So for me, usually I put my like sanitary things in here and um and then i put my actually like my wallet and my money and things like that in here because it's kind of like a little pocket there and then the second zip which is the, the front pocket or well, the middle compartment you also got like a little um sleeve for your phone and then you've got another wider sleeve which you can put your passport or things like that 
or if you like documents or for me I just put makeup here and then my phone and then you also got some extra room in the front to put other things you want so I had like candy and like lighting cable and charger and things like that as well and then the last compartment is the one in the very front and I think in here I just put tissues also I had two little um, drink holder things at the, the side so you can put umbrellas or your drinks so for me I just put my tea in there this is definitely essential for when you're traveling I think you guys would you would agree with me that you know a backpack is very necessary this is actually the um, Sigma spa like brush cleaning glove and I saw this on the website I'm like oh my god I need to get this like I had the brush egg for the longest time I've been using that however my downside to the brush egg was because it's too small the brush egg is great for like eye brushes brushes that are tiny but if you got like big heavy like powder brushes it was just too small to handle any big bigger brush but this is great because it fits around your hand like that and you can pretty much um, wash your brushes here 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 everywhere and it's so convenient because you can actually you know once you wash it you can actually you know squeeze dry in in your hands and then like then your brush is pretty much completely clean um, this is so much easier to wash um, I feel like the the silicon or this material it doesn't stain as much as the other one so I, I am really 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 liking this I feel like you guys should definitely try this out if you are looking for a brush cleaning glove this is definitely one that you should actually consider. I am actually doing a video on how to take care of your brushes. So I will actually show you how I wash my brushes and how I dry them and how I actually reshape them and you know how I use them as well. So if you are interested in that kind of video, hit that like button, let me know and I will make that one for you very shortly. I feel like this month there was a lot of things and there's probably a lot of information overload. So if you have any questions, about any of these products let me know I will try to find links to them because some of the things were purchased overseas but you know then again that's what these videos are all about it's about learning new things and discovering what people bought like you know when they go traveling or the things that they've enjoyed that month that you probably have never heard of and now you do so this is why I watch these kind of videos anyways thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you in my next video bye